Hi, I'm Leila Rosegui and I'm a business strategist that helps companies that are making a positive impact so they can attain and retain more customers. And today I'm going to answer the question, how do you pick which projects you can work on or you should work on? Are you an entrepreneur with shiny object syndrome and that aren't we all? So when you, if someone comes to you and tells you, oh, we should do this together, or you should do that thing, like how do you decide what to work on and what not to work on? And the first thing I want you to think about is your vision. Does this new project take you closer to where you see yourself going in the next five or 10 years for your business? If it does, then it should be considered. If it doesn't, you need to think about um, other things. Like, is this a completely different project from what you're doing? And if it is, do you have the capacity, the attention and the resources to see it through? Um, a lot of people just start new projects and uh, when you post about all these things on social media, people get confused about what you're doing, and that's a huge deal. If you're gonna start uh, projects that are independent from each other from a, for a different audience, you need to find how to communicate that to people in order to not confuse them about what you do, if they're really, uh, if they're really separate. In my case, I do business consulting, and I organize events for women in business and I teach business. So both of them have to do with business and entrepreneurship and helping people. So that's how I relate them. So you always have to find that way of relating uh, the projects that you're working on for people to understand what you are all about. And you, you need to keep that in mind. So if you find a new project that helps you get to where you see yourself going through your vision, you need to think if, about um, answering the question, do you have the capacity and do you have the time to see it through in an optimal way? And then the third thing is, how are you gonna communicate it to people in order to clarify what you're all about instead of confusing them? After you consider all those things and you think that it's a good project, you can go ahead and, and start working on it. I hope that my answer was useful. And if you liked it, please subscribe either on YouTube or on my website, LeilaRosegui.com. I'm also on Facebook, uh, Facebook slash Leila Rosegui. Thanks so much and have a great day.